Welcome everyone. So in this video we're going to draw the torch you see here. So let's make a start. So we're going to open up a new part and open up a new sketch. And we're going to draw a rectangle on the front plane. And I'll just get a center rectangle to make sure it's nice and neatly centered. And we'll smart to mention this to be 95 and this to be 95. So my geometry is fully defined. Now we're going to put a sketch fillet in all four corners and we're going to put a sketch fillet radius 22 in all four corners. And that's my first sketch. Okay, so we're happy with that. Now we bring in a new plane. So we'll go to features, reference geometry. Oh, we close the sketch first, of course. So reference geometry plane. And select the front plane. And bring a plane parallel to that, a distance of 150. Okay, and on this new plane we'll open up another sketch and this time rather than drawing we can use the geometry that's there already so we'll just offset those entities and we want to make those offset three millimeters so we'll change this to three mil and now we have our second sketch. Okay, I don't need this plane for the moment so I'll just hide that. And to create the main body of the torch, we'll carry out a lofted boss base between this line and this line. If you happen to get a twisted loft that looks like this, just be sure to drag those green drag handles back into alignment. Like that. Okay, so now we'll open up a sketch on the right plane and because the rectangle was centered about the origin, the right plane should intersect perfectly symmetrically through this artifact. So we'll start a sketch, press the space bar to look normal to the shape and we'll be sure to snap onto the midpoint of this line and draw a line straight out to the left and straight up vertically. and to finish this triangle that I'm about to draw, I'm going to use a spline, but just use a two-point spline, which, of course, should be a straight line. And I will dimension this bottom line to be 55, and this vertical line to be 75. And if I click this line, because it's a spline, I can drag this diamond and this diamond shape to move that around. I can also drag the arrowhead to make the spline a little longer in both directions. Now what I want to do up here is make sure that this drag handle is horizontal. So to do that I can change the angle down here to zero and with this one I don't necessarily mind if this one is vertical or not, but I want it to certainly interfere with the main solid, so I'm going to drag it back until it looks right like that. And to massage, if you like, this curve to make it look right, just drag those handles and make them longer or shorter. But again, I want to set that back to zero degrees. So when we're finished with that, we close the sketch and we'll test it. So features, revolve boss base, and we'll see how it looks. Now I know that's going to cause me problems because it hasn't fully intersected with the main body that I've just lofted. We want to avoid a situation like this because that will not allow it to be filleted in a moment's time. So we can improve that but let's go back in and edit the sketch and just move those drag handles out a little bit more and hopefully now we're nearly there, we're not quite there yet. Let's make it a little longer. And now we have it. 
So that's the main body of our torch. So after that, let's add on the extrusion here, which will later take the thread of the lid. So that's a sketch, a circle, onto this. And we will dimension that to be diameter 140. And we will extrude that to a height of 20. And finally, let's hollow out what we have. Let's apply a shell of four millimeters to the entire surface. Looks okay. And approve that. So, now that that's the main body of the torch completed, let's add the handle to the top. So to do that, we're going to draw a sketch on the right plane and in order to have something to reference we can bring in a sketch picture this could be a picture you've taken from the internet or a photograph you've taken yourself so i'm going to start a new sketch on that plane and if you go to tools sketch entities sorry sketch tools sketch picture you'll often find it to be grayed out so it's usually necessary just to open a sketch command like a line and rather than drawing, now we can go to Tools, Sketch Tools, and now the Sketch Picture icon is active. <clears throat> so if I go to my desktop, that's where I've saved this picture. When you bring in that picture, you can freely drag it around. So you can resize it here. If you want to be precise, you can change uh, its size based on coordinates or dimensions over here but I'm just going to drag it in until it looks right. And when you're happy with it, you can commit to it and close that sketch and leave the sketch picture there. You could have a sketch and a sketch picture within the same sketch, but I rather open up a new sketch to trace around the sketch picture. That way, Later, if I need to turn on and view the sketch picture, I don't have to turn on and view the sketch I'm about to draw. So if I look at 90 degrees to it, I can very carefully trace around it. Now I need to be careful here, I'm going to turn on this view so I can see where the material stops. I don't want to draw this handle cutting down into the hollow or the shell I've just created. So I'm carefully going to start in here. And I'm going to draw a line up. This fillet at the corner, I'm going to achieve that later with a sketch fillet. So for now, I'm going to just leave that as a straight line. And over here, I'll achieve the same thing. I'll just achieve this with a straight line. And now using a spline, I'll carefully make my way across the top. with the spline and join up like that. So while I'm here, I'll try and put on that sketch fillet. So hit sketch fillet. Let's see what the radius 22 looks like. It's a little large, so let's change that to 15. A little smaller, 12, and that looks okay. So we'll approve that. And now we'll try and use a spline to mimic the shape of the handle. And I'm going to stop that there. I'm just going to drag some of those points to even it off a little. And I'm going to use a straight line to continue this down. And it's very important that you close the sketch here. It's not important that they're perfectly horizontal or anything. Just close the sketch there and also over here. Now, if you so wish, you can edit the splines. You can uh, massage them slightly. Uh, but for now, I'm, I'm happy with that. One thing I might do, I might just take this line and drag it into horizontal alignment. 
or oh, sorry vertical alignment it'll make my life easier later this one is already vertical you'll see why that's important in a moment so now I can turn off the sketch picture which is in a different sketch without turning off my sketch because I separated those out I can do that and I'll turn back on this display style and I can extrude this handle shape out because it's symmetrical I don't want it to extrude one side I want it to extrude as a mid plane and I'm going to extrude this to a total width of 25 millimeters now in a moment I'm going to make sure that this merge result box is unselected but for now I will leave it selected and here you can see the torch is drawn it's still a little blocky we'll, we'll fix that with fillets in a moment but there is no folder in the feature manager called solid bodies this is all one solid body one solid mass if you like so by right clicking that previous extrude and editing the feature this time we will deselect merge result and press OK now we have a folder called solid bodies in which we have the shell one feature which is the main bit of the torch and the boss extrude feature which is the newly made handle so why that's important is we can turn off the visibility of either of those bodies in turn and work with them individually